Boris Johnson tells the EU there'll be no extension to Brexit. Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak have stated very clearly that the United Kingdom will certainly secure a future UK-EU trade deal by December 31st. Rishi Sunak has promised to complete a Brexit deal by December 31st and has warned that the transition period will not be extended beyond this date. This has sparked panic throughout the European Union, with Remain as an EU MP stating that it is wrong for Britain to leave the EU during this global crisis. David Frost, the chief Brexit negotiator, said on Twitter, As we prepare for the next round of negotiations, I want to reiterate the government's position on the transition period created following our withdrawal from the European Union. Transition ends on December 31st this year. We will not extend it. If the EU asks, we will say no. Extending would simply prolong negotiations, create even more uncertainty, leave us liable to pay more into the EU in future and keep us bound by evolving EU laws at a time when we need to control our own affairs. In short, it is not in the UK's interest to extend. A strong team led by Boris Johnson's chief negotiator have been using video conferencing to negotiate with their European counterparts. Face-to-face -face talks have been postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Mr Johnson's stand has not changed because he wants a free trade agreement to be struck with Brussels before the end of the transition period, although high-profile EU leaders such as Mr Barnier and the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen have urged the Prime Minister to reconsider. Mrs von der Leyen has warned the UK that it would be impossible to attain a comprehensive trade deal by the end of 2020 and acknowledged that there will be tough talks ahead but the EU was ready to negotiate a truly ambitious partnership with the UK. The European Commission President also said that without an extension of the transition period, the UK cannot expect to agree all aspects of a new EU partnership. The comment comes after International Monetary Fund Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva said that the UK and EU should not add to uncertainty as a result of coronavirus by refusing to extend the period to negotiate a Brexit trade deal. In an interview with the BBC, the IMF Managing Director said, My advice would be to seek ways in which this element of uncertainty is reduced in the interests of everybody, of the UK, of the EU, of the whole world. Mrs Georgieva previously worked for the European Union as the European Commission Vice President for Budget and Human Resources, overseeing 33,000 staff and the EU's 161 billion European budget. So having worked for the EU, of course she wants Britain to stay in the EU and bail out European countries. David Frost has ordered the European Commission not to share numerous drafts of legal texts with member states as fears they could be leaked. The draft texts are about free trade agreements, including chapters on aviation and nuclear cooperation. Many EU diplomats are angry at this since they cannot question these agreements or scrutinise the UK's trade offer. The European Commission also stated that it would be more than willing to negotiate an extension to the transition period as a result of the coronavirus crisis. Although this would deeply anger Brexiteers as the Conservative Party manifesto promised to get it done. An EU spokesman said, The withdrawal agreement provides a possibility to extend the transition period up to one or two years. We have always said that we are ready to discuss such an extension. However, Downing Street insists the deadline will not be extended beyond the end of the year as it is enshrined in law. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and like.